I was pretty impressed with the T5 True Wireless earbuds when they first came out. But of course, at that point in time, Clips still had quite a few things to improve on. Well, the T5 II True Wireless ANC earbuds are now out. And it's definitely improved, but is it improved enough to warrant the extra cash? Hey guys, we have the Klipsch T5 II True Wireless ANC earbuds with us today, and it's eye-catching as always. Before we get into the review, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. Klipsch's T5 earbuds have always been pretty recognisable thanks to the Zippo-like charging case, and it's retained that case for the T5 II ANC. The case itself is pretty hefty thanks to the metal construction on the outside. That being said, you do get a rubber pad on the bottom to allow for wireless charging, which is nice. The case is now polished instead of brushed, which I'm actually not that big a fan of. It's super easy to see smudges and fingerprints on this case now, as opposed to the brushed metal one for the original T5. That being said, the case still feels pretty premium in the hand. Opening the lid is easy, and it snaps close with a satisfying sound. Opening the lid, you get the earbuds inside and three LEDs that indicate the charge level of the case. As for the earbuds, they look super sleek. The gunmetal ones that I have right now at least. Everything is matte, so you don't have to worry about fingerprints or smudges. And these are still using physical buttons, which means no false inputs. They also sit somewhat securely in the ear, affording a decent amount of passive noise isolation. Higher pitch noises like the sound of a keyboard are still relatively audible though. With these, there are quite a few features, so you'll definitely want to download the Clips Connect app. Something a little interesting is that during the setup process, you'll actually be asked what colour your earbuds are, so that it reflects accurately on the main page of the app, which is pretty cool. On the main page, you also get indicators for battery life in each earbud, an EQ feature, a toggle for ANC or transparency mode, settings, and an interactions button. Something that annoys me though, is that whenever I swipe up out of the app and then go back in, the app registers as having disconnected from the earbuds, so I need to wait for it to reconnect. It's not that big a deal, just a little bit of an inconvenience having to wait that extra 3 or 4 seconds. Moving on, Interactions is actually pretty cool because these come with Bragi tech, which means that you can nod your head to accept the call or shake your head to reject one. Also a beta feature where you can shake your head to skip tracks. It's fun and all, but honestly, I only ever use it when I'm alone at home. I can't really see myself using this when I'm out and about because, well, you wouldn't really want to be shaking your head constantly when you're out in public and around other people, right? Something else that's pretty nice is that there's this sidekicks option in the ANC transparency menu that allows you to choose whether you want ANC to be activated when listening to music or not. If you do, transparency mode kicks in when music is paused. There's also an option to automatically turn on transparency mode when you're on calls, which is useful. Additionally, in the Interactions tab, you can customise what each button press does. By default, a single press on the left toggles between ANC on, off, and transparency. A double press raises music volume, and a triple press lowers the volume. On the right, a single press is play pause while a press and hold pulls up the voice assistant. Double press to skip tracks forward and triple press to skip tracks backwards. Pretty decent. I'm actually really glad that Klipsch has included volume control on these because it always makes me super happy when I'm testing out earbuds that have them. As for EQ, you get a 6 bar EQ here, but there are also presets for bass, treble, vocals, rock, podcast, and custom. Most of my testing was done with the EQ turned off. That being said, Klipsch has another trick up their sleeve, and that's direct HD sound. I have no idea if I pronounced that right or not, but yeah. The Rack is essentially a sound optimizer. If you have speakers at home, you might have used their software before. While I was a bit disappointed that the Direct HD inclusion here is simply a toggle and not an actual adjustment based on your ears, turning it on does make music sound much better. These are running on Bluetooth 5.0, which is fine, but it's a bit of a surprise that these only come with SBC and AAC support because the non-ANC version of the T5 II does support aptX. Bit of a disappointment really, especially because Klipsch included Direct and you would assume that they care about people who care about sound quality, but yeah. The earbuds can be used individually though, so that's nice. Battery life is... 
kind of middle of the pack actually. Clip says you get 5 hours with ANC turned on and 7 when ANC is turned off. And that was relatively accurate. I got slightly over 4 hours with ANC turned on, but yeah, it's still not great when you compare it to other earbuds like the XM4 that are supposed to get 8 hours with ANC turned on. But yeah, 4 hours is okay. It's not terrible, but it's not great either. In the case, you get an additional 3 charges, which means it's around 20 hours with ANC on or 28 hours with ANC off. And like I mentioned earlier, there's wireless charging, which is nice. There's IPX4 water resistance, which is actually a step down from the non-ANC model's IP67. But anyway, it holds up fine to sweat and the like. Although if you're looking for something to accompany you when you're going out to exercise, you will definitely want to look at something else because these don't sit securely enough in the ear for any sort of vigorous activity. If you're looking for those, maybe the Klipsch T5 II True Wireless Sport instead because those come with IP67, dust and water protection as well as stabilizing fins. As for ANC, it's not too bad. It does effectively remove stuff like fan whir and also somewhat muffles car rumble although it's not quite as good as other earbuds that I've tried. Of course, higher pitch sounds aren't really going to be very affected by the ANC here. So yeah, I would say that ANC is again relatively average. Coming to sound quality, that's another area where the T5 II ANC shines. You get decent impact in the bass, which is definitely a more consumer-friendly tuning. Unfortunately, the mids do feel a bit cluttered, with deeper male vocals and instruments feeling a bit recessed. Despite that though, it's still relatively clear, and it's the typical clipped sound, with a slightly more emphasised treble, which results in female vocals performing quite well here. Microphone quality is pretty decent as you can hear. There are six beam-forming mics, three on each earbud, and my voice does come across relatively clear on calls without picking up too much background noise. Soundstage is about as good as you can get out of true wireless earbuds, although imaging is actually pretty accurate. Instrument layering could be a bit better though, I think. Overall though, there's plenty of clarity, and if you're not happy with any one part of the mix, it's tunable via the EQ feature. All in all, I'd say that if you like the design of the case and the earbuds and you're looking for something that has good sound as well as ANC, it might be worth forking out the $299 US dollars or $449 Singapore dollars. But if you're looking for something that has a bit more ANC, you probably want to look elsewhere. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the Klipsch T5 II True Wireless ANC earbuds. If you guys have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe to us and like this video. Till next one. See you guys!